Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about how to solve quadratic equations. So, meron tayong different versions of this kind of topic, pero napakarami pa rin nahihirapan when it comes to solving quadratic equations. So, without further ado, let's do this topic. So, what we have here is the first problem. We are given the equation 6 times the quantity of 5 plus x raised to the second power minus 42. And to give you an idea, what we're going to use here is solving quadratic equations by extracting the square roots. Now, ano yung unang step na gagawin natin to solve this problem? First, we will eliminate negative 42. Guys, you can add 42 both sides of the equation, but to make it easier for us, we will just transpose negative 42 to the other side of the equation that would make it positive 42. So what will happen? Our new equation is 6 times the quantity of 5 plus x squared is equal to, from negative, it will become just 42. Then after that, kasi ang target kasi natin dito guys is to follow this pattern. We need to make it looks like uh, x squared is equal to k. Dapat Quadratic term lang sa left side and then constant on the other side. So what's next here is that we need to eliminate positive 6. Kasi ito lang yung nagiging problem na lang dito. So to eliminate that, kapag magkatabi sila, divide both sides by 6. In this case, we can cancel out 6. We can cancel out 6. What we mean here is 5 plus x raised to the second power is equal to 42 divided by 6 is equal to 7. Now, in your case, maybe you will, you would think that we need to expand this one. We, we will try to multiply 5 plus x times 5 plus x. Pero, ito kasi, kaya nang isolve using extracting the square roots. So, gagawin natin dito, kung natin square roots ng both sides of the equation, square roots, and this one, don't forget the positive and negative. And by the way, may nakita ko sa comment section, Sir, bakit naka-cancel out yung mismo ano natin? Yung radical and the power of 2. Meron kasi tayo dito ang invisible index na 2 na yung may property tayo na if the index and the exponent of the radical are equal, we can simply cancel it out. So what we have here is 5 plus x is equal to, since 7 is not a perfect square, and wala nating factors na 7, it will remain as positive, negative, square root of 7. What's next is, kailangan natin is x lang, kailangan natin i-remove itong si 5 by transposing it to the other side of the equation. So what we have now is simply, copy your x, is equal to, positive, negative, square root of 7, then it will become minus 5. Ngayon, um, we can consider this one as an answer kasi hindi natin pwedeng simplify pa yung negative 7 sa minus 5. Okay, acceptable na yan. But, if your teacher or professor ask you for the two different solutions, you can separate the two solutions. Una mo yung x sub 1. Yung first solution. Use the positive 7, square root of 7. That is square root of 7 and then copy negative 5. So this is the first value of x. Now, for the second solution, which is the x sub 2, we are done with the positive. Kunin mo naman yung negative. You have negative square root of 7 minus 5. Pwede na to, ha? pwede na to. Or, if your teacher wants to factor the negative sign, pwede naman siya maging negative times square root of 7 plus 5. This one is possible. So, these are the possible values of x. So, medyo komplikado to kung hindi kayo marunong mag-manipulate ng equations. Lalo na kung hindi kayo marunong sa, ano, sa properties of equality. Now, let's continue with item number 2. 
In number two, fractional form siya, pero don't worry about it kasi hindi naman siya ganun kahirap. I will teach you step by step on how to solve this one. Same thing na kailangan natin gawin, kailangan natin masundan tong pattern na to, x squared is equal to k. Right now, marami pa tayong problema dito sa left side. Dapat ma-remove natin yung negative 13 at yung 3. Ito kasi, itong part na to is equivalent to x squared. Okay? Ito muna unahin natin. We will transpose negative 13 to the other side of the equation. It will become 2x plus 3 raised to the second power over 3. Transpose negative 13 to the other side. It will become positive 13. And here, ang pinaka problema natin ay yung denominator na 3. So what we need to do is to eliminate it by multiplying both sides of the equation by this denominator. Pag multiply nyo to, it will be cancelled out. Matitaro na lang is 2x plus 3 raised to the second power. And on the other side, 13 times 3 is 39. Tama? So what's next? Extract the square roots. Kasi parehas na yun guys. Oh. Ito, x squared. 39 is x is k. Get the square root of this one. And then positive, negative. Cancel, cancel. You have 2x plus 3 is equal to positive, negative, square root of 39. Okay? So, meron ba tayong mali sa steps natin? Mukhang wala naman. Now, next natin gagawin is transpose this to the other side of the equation. It will become 2x is equal to positive negative square root of 39 minus 3. And lastly, ayun na, kasi solve for x tayo eh. Divide both sides by 2. Cancel, cancel. Your, kasha pa ba? Your x, move natin ito ng konti. Your x is equal to positive negative square root of 39 minus 3 over 2. Actually guys, ito na siya. You can consider this one as final answer. Kasi, uh, wala na tayong factors ng 39 na perfect square at di naman perfect square is 39. Pero kung gusto makuha ni teacher mo yung pinaka-solutions, you can provide one. Your x of 1 here, syempre positive muna tayo. Square root of 39 minus 3 over 2. Okay na to. That's the first value of x. For the second value of x, negative naman. Negative square root of 39 minus 3 over and these are the possible values of x. So I hope guys na natuto kayo sa mismong video natin on how to solve quadratic equations. Medyo ano na to, other le another level na itong sinosolve natin. Pero sana mapuntahan nyo yung different videos natin on how to solve quadratic equations kasi meron tayong sobrang daming videos for grade 9. So guys, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at i-hit na yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, teacher, gone. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!